Well, with a whopping 18 games over the next three weeks, the Macomb Bombers are certainly about to have the depth of their pitching staff sternly tested. Now on paper, Brock Banner's crew doesn't seem to have nearly as many viable arms as it did last year, but that might not just be the case. The future's so bright for the Bombers, they may have to wear shades in this one early on. Nate Vile, though, for the Blue Devils, getting the double right here. He would later score on a fielder's choice. It would be the only hit of the day Brett Taylor, or B. Tay to his friends, would allow for the Bombers as uh, Quincy High's offense pretty much shut down. Great defense as well, helping out the cause, as this, my friends, is Derek Mabry turning the rare 9-3 double play to avert any further threat. The Bombers would score two runs early on four balls that didn't leave the infield. Then they did some real work right here. It's Matt Lover with an RBI single at that point to make it 3-1. to one. Brett Taylor helping his own cause as well with a two-run double that Walt rolls all the way to doors and Moore's right here as uh, the Macomb Bombers get the big victory on the road at Quincy High. 6-2 was your final. Other baseball scores to pass along today in Illinois. Jacksonville over Lanfear, 13-6. It was Calhoun getting a one-hitter from Tyler Ballman to beat Pleasant Hill, 12-0. Rushville Industry wins on the road at Pittsfield in a shutout. Liberty too much for Unity. Alani West with a great pitching effort today from Nick Driscoll on the road at Bigsville West Central. And Quincy Notre Dame beat Palmyra in a score you do not see there. We don't have the final numbers. We just know that Quincy Notre Dame won. Elsewhere in Missouri, Knox County too much for North Shelby on this night. Cell Shelby hands the defending state champions La Plata a 13-run loss in their first game of the new season. It was Hannibal losing at home to Moberly today. Canton too much for Atlanta and Macon with 30 runs at the expense of Putnam County. More from for you from Illinois today. Route and Brown County going at it. Alex Shepard on the hill, the ace of staff, the Hornets. Tell you what, his defense backing him up in the second here. What looks like an inning ending double play is actually good for just one out. That, my friends, would cost the Hornets in this one as Alex Johnson going to step to the plate for route and single to center field to bring home Matt Martin. Makes it one to nothing Rockets at this point. The Rockets going to add to that lead. They would do so consistently throughout this game as Nick Lonergan, one of the best bats in the entire Tri-States, goes ooh, into left field right through short to score another run. Made it two to nothing. Route really never looked back in this game. The Rockets getting a nice quality road win despite the defensive efforts here of Rick Logsdon. Final count in this one was eight to one in favor of route. Softball today, Alina West jumps on West Central of Biggsville, 4-2. Beardstown, a 2-0 winner over Havana. It was West Prairie eking by Lewiston. The, the behind a wonderful day from Taylor Harper, both on the hill and at the plate in this one. Also, Pittsfield, too much for West Central. We've got Griggsville Perry sweeping a pair today from Central Southeastern. 7-1 and 8-4 were your finals there. And it was the Cheyenne Bowman Show in Payson. 10 to nothing your final as Payson Seymour gets a wonderful pitching effort, a one hitter in the first game. And in the second game, Payson Seymour gets a wonderful batting effort from Ms. Bowman, who has six RBIs, adding those to the cause as well. Also, West Hancock scores 22 runs today at Bushnell Prairie City Avon's expense. We've got soccer for you as well tonight. Quincy Notre Dame taking on Jefferson City Helias in this one. Kate Gennenbacher scoring the first goal of the night. There would be more for the Lady Raiders, as you would expect. Two of them coming from emergent star Cassidy Foley, who is starting to just absolutely peak right now. Look at this. Left-footed shot from distance, knocking that home. Cassidy not done yet. She's going to run free for a while down the left wing, come back to the middle, and simply reverse pivot here just a bit and punch in the right-footed goal. She is, what What do you call that? Ambidextrous? Amphibious? Whatever you want to call it. It's all good for Cassidy Foley. And then how about McKenna, Mur McKenna Murphy in slow motion, adding one more as the Lady Raiders pitch the shutout and get the victory over Helias. Four to nothing was your final there. Uh, golf score to pass along today. It was Palmyra thwarting Monroe City and Centralia. Uh, Ryan DeHaan was your medalist for Palmyra with an even par score of 36. College baseball today. John Wood looking for its 18th straight victory in game one of a doubleheader. Mr. Groznick pitching very well. The pride of Central Southeastern with a strikeout early on. He was ably supported as well. Bottom of the first, Linrick Pinto with a sacrifice fly. That scores the pride of Illini West. Zach Burling makes it one to nothing at that point. Then Stephen Kaler going to step to the plate. Do some damage as well right here. The lefty going ooh, back the other direction for a two-run single to make it three to nothing. Big blow in this frame, though, comes courtesy of Kyle Pruitt, who is going to step up find the Gulf Stream here and deliver the first collegiate home run of his career, a three-run jack. 
as uh, John Wood gets the job done in game one, 19 to nothing. No different in game number two as Nay Seldomridge had home runs in both games today. John Wood now 19 straight wins, 13 to three was your final. Some scores to pass along finally tonight. Culver Stockton swept today by visiting Avila, four to three in the first game and 11 to four in the second. Better news in softball today. Illinois College gets the first win of the season for Payson product Elise Speckhart, or at least her first win of the season, 10 to two, as she goes the distance and strikes out five. Also, Culver Stockton today swept in softball by Central Methodist in the second game. Victoria Zendejas, Victoria Zendejas, easier for me to say, had a home run in that ball game to help lead the spark the cause. And HLG today was swept by Park, 16 to three and 11 to nothing were your finals there. If you missed the great story Ross Green did on those. Fabulous archers from uh, Palmyra. Story. It's online right now at connecttristates.com. Maybe they can be in the Hunger Games. I don't know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't we'll read be, the book. We'll be right back.